Slap cartel. I couldn't get any of it on footage. I was talking to Matthew. We got up here so late. I'd already spooked a doe. Now I'm assuming that this buck was chasing this doe. Or at least following her. And I just happened to look back here. And we got a nice four pointer. He looks like he's at least a three year old four pointer. He was right there. He was, he was standing. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. He was standing right there. 46 yards. We were staring. We had to stare off for like five minutes. I tried to grunt at him. I tried to bleed at him. I tried to snort his at him. And he was just standing there. So I eventually told Matthew, you need to just slowly raise your gun. He's at 46. And to see if you can shoot him. And I'm pretty sure he hammered him. I swear I think he hammered him. <laughs> I'm shaking so bad. Black cartel. He came right in on our trail that we walked in. He had to be on that dog. Hmm. You haven't even called anybody. Just sitting here honestly taking it in. And hoping another deal will come back too. Because I'm assuming that dough was hot. But I know if I call somebody it might be super loud. And we were already loud enough after the shot. But insane. We're gonna hurry up and get down though before it gets dark so we can just at least see the blood at the impact. He could be laying 20, 30 yards up in that thicket, so. You never know, he couldn't even have went too far either because the road is right there. So, we'll see. He ran right back towards the Jeep. I probably ever have had in my life. Which, you said what? That's the most greatest experience I probably have ever had in my life, nigga. Damn, dude, that shit was crazy. About an hour and 15 minutes after the shot, straight moonlight, climbing down, gonna go look at first blood, and then go back and get a better light and put these stands back in the truck, in the Jeep, because we're only like 80 yards from the Jeep, so. Hopefully we find him within 100 yards. No, we're gonna go grab another light, but I got first blood. First sure I see bubbles in it right there. <laughs> right there. Sean, that way, where's that fucking blood at right here? It's on that fucking bone. Yeah. Oh, shit. Dude. Oh, my God. We were on the phone, bro, and he is right there. Dude, he is huge. Bro, he is fucking huge, bro. I... <laughs> Not that the antlers aren't huge, but the just... The antlers aren't huge, but he is a fucking baddie, dog. <laughs> Dude. Let me see. Brandon, let's see what I hit him at, bro. Dude. <laughs> God, Dude, he's so big, his body. Bro, his body is huge, man. Where did I hit him, bro? <laughs> <laughs> bro. <laughs> Set the <laughs> Let me call you back in a minute. I'll send you a picture, bro. I love you. Alright, dude. Better love, bro. Later. Oh, my. Hold up, bro. <laughs> Pick his head up.
He's going to be stiff. Pick him up, son. Got it done tonight. <laughs> Yo, I'm not we literally were on the phone and walked up right on him. We were not even five yards away from him. Walked right up on him. A beautiful six-pointer. He's got to be a three-year-old, I'm thinking. He's got a huge body. But... We're going to drag him out and get pictures on the power line where we shot him and get him home where he belongs in the freezer now. Wait, stop, stop, stop. Somebody just went down the road, man. We just had him at the edge, too. He died within 100 yards of the Cherokee. she just ran right across which I thought was weird at first because we weren't making much noise at all and then she ended up trying to circle downwind but couldn't get fully downwind without getting into this power line right here so she just ended up trotting off and blowing once or twice and once we fully got set up after I tried to pull his crossbow up and somehow my bow rope ended up coming untied so we had to climb back down and retie it, climb back up there. I just threw out two soft grunts, and then not five minutes later, I look back to say something to him, and this this buck is standing right in the power line. We had about a 10 minute face off, try to throw a grunt, a snort wheeze, and a bleat back towards where that doe came from during that whole 10 minutes, and just he wasn't having it. He was just locked onto us, and he wasn't in my shooting lane. He was perfectly in Matthew's shooting lane. Ranged him at 45 yards. I told him how far he was. He felt confident, so he made the shot, and the rest is history. He's sitting behind his first deer ever right here on public land in Virginia. So we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him gutted up and get him back. Get him back home and continue the season. I'm sure there's a lot more to come this year. So. That's probably, I'll say look, probably 12 minutes. 